In today's video, we are talking about a remarkable new battery coming out of China that could last for 50 years without ever needing a recharge. Think about that for a moment. Never having to plug it in, never needing to change it out, just a single, incredibly durable battery that provides power year after year. If that sounds like science fiction, then you might want to stay tuned because this is very real technology backed by ongoing research and development. And as always, all the sources used in this video are linked in the description below, so you can check them out for yourself if you want more details or just want to do a little extra reading. Most of us have a love-hate relationship with batteries. We depend on them to power everything from our smartphones to our electric cars, yet we're constantly on guard for the next time they will die out. Imagine never having to worry about that again. No more hunting for a charger in the middle of the day, no more frantic rummaging around for a spare battery, and no more frustration when your device dies at the worst possible moment. That's the promise behind this new technology, and it's a big reason why it's been making headlines around the world. But this isn't just about convenience. It's also about expanding our horizons and letting us power devices that are too remote, or too mission critical for standard batteries. Deep space missions, medical implants, and sensors placed in the most inhospitable environments on Earth could suddenly operate for decades without the slightest interruption. This new nuclear battery, as some are calling it, has huge potential to change the way we interact with energy. So let's dive right into it, starting with the basics. What exactly is this nuclear battery? To start things off, let's introduce you to Beijing Betavolt New Energy, the company behind this groundbreaking innovation. They have unveiled a device known as the BV100, and it might be small, but it is definitely mighty. At a glance, it measures around 15 by 15 by 5 millimeters, which means it's roughly the size of a postage stamp, just a bit thicker. Think of something small enough to fit comfortably in your hand, but capable of an astonishing feat. Producing 100 microwatts of power at about 3 volts continuously for 50 years. Now, 100 microwatts might not sound like a lot if you're thinking about power-hungry gadgets like laptops, smartphones, or even LED lights. But we should keep in mind that many small devices don't need a ton of power to operate. Sensors, microcontrollers, certain medical implants, or miniature devices like micro drones are all candidates for something like the BV100. The fact that it can keep delivering power for five whole decades is truly groundbreaking. What really makes this battery so special though so, is that it requires absolutely no maintenance. You don't have to charge it, you don't have to swap it out, and you don't have to worry about it wearing out after a few years. In essence, you can plug it into your device and then basically forget about it for the rest of its functional lifespan. By the time the BV100 has fully expended itself after half a century, the radioactive material inside has decayed into a stable form, meaning it's no longer radioactive or hazardous. Now, before we move on to our next section and get into the details of how this miraculous technology actually works, Works, I'd like to gently remind you. If you're enjoying what you're hearing so far or finding it helpful, please click that like button to support the channel. It truly helps more than you might think. Next up, let's dig into the science behind this 50-year nuclear battery. It's called a beta-voltaic device. And while the name might sound intimidating, the idea behind it is surprisingly straightforward once you break it down. Essentially, beta-voltaic technology harnesses the beta particles emitted by a radioactive isotope, in this case, nickel-63. Nickel-63 isn't just some random metal. It's a carefully chosen material that has a half-life, meaning the time it takes to lose half of its radioactivity that suits the long operational life of this battery. Here's how it works in simpler terms. As nickel-63 decays, it gives off beta particles, which are basically high-energy electrons. These electrons then strike a special layer of semiconductor material, often diamond-like or some specially engineered structure, which converts that motion or that energy into electricity. This process is somewhat analogous to how a solar cell uses photons from the sun to produce power, except instead of photons, beta-voltaic devices use beta particles emitted by a radioactive source. One of the biggest questions that might pop into your head is this. Isn't radioactivity dangerous? That's a reasonable concern. We all know that radiation can pose health and environmental risks if not properly contained. The good news is that this beta-voltaic device is designed in such a way that the beta particles are contained within the device. Beta particles don't penetrate materials like gamma rays can, so shielding them is much easier. Additionally, companies like Beijing Beta-Volt New Energy emphasize that the device has no radiation leaks into the environment 
environment. That means no harmful emissions for the user and no pollution that would contaminate the surroundings. Even more interesting is that after 50 years, when enough of the nickel-63 has decayed, it effectively becomes copper, which is no longer radioactive. That means the device, at the end of its long life, can be considered practically safe to handle. So not only do you not have to change batteries during that 50-year span, but it also leaves behind a far more benign waste product than many other nuclear processes. Now that we have a better handle on what the BV100 is and how it works, let's explore some of the most exciting applications for a nuclear battery that never needs to be charged or swapped out. Because the output is relatively small, at just 100 microwatts, we're talking about devices or systems that are fairly low power, but that doesn't mean the applications are limited, far from it. First on the list is an area that's close to many people's hearts, medical implants such as pacemakers. One of the main issues patients face with pacemakers is battery life. Typically, pacemakers have to be replaced every five to 15 years, which can be costly, not to mention physically taxing because it involves surgery. A 50-year battery could mean that once you have a device implanted, you might never need to think about replacing its power source. That's an enormous quality of life improvement, reducing the risk of multiple surgeries over a patient's lifetime. Another prime candidate for this kind of technology is space exploration, particularly satellites and space probes. Deep space missions can last for decades. Take the Voyager probes, for instance, which have been traveling through our solar system and beyond for more than 40 years. Imagine equipping a probe with a power source that doesn't degrade quickly like solar cells might or doesn't need risky chemical batteries. A beta-voltaic device could keep instruments running, send back data, and do all kinds of critical tasks without constant concern about power. Not only that, but smaller devices like micro-drones could be powered in planetary exploration missions, gathering data from places we can't easily reach. Sensors in extreme environments also stand to benefit. Whether it's under the ocean, in polar regions, or deep underground, having a battery that can go for 50 years without maintenance is a total game changer. You could bury a sensor in a remote location and collect data for decades without any human intervention. From monitoring seismic activity, to tracking wildlife, to conducting atmospheric or oceanographic research, this battery makes long-term monitoring feasible in ways never before imagined. And let's not forget about future possibilities in consumer electronics. While the BV100 in its current state might not be strong enough to power AI chips or smartphones, there's a clear pathway toward making more powerful versions in the future. In fact, if and when we can scale this technology up to deliver higher outputs, we might see a day where smartphones, wearables, or other gadgets could benefit from nuclear battery technology. Imagine never having to worry about battery anxiety again. Just pick up your phone and use it, with the confidence that it's always going to have power. Of course, no technology is without its limitations. Right now, the BV100 only produces 100 microwatts. That's incredibly small compared to the power consumption of a typical smartphone, which needs at least a few watts, especially when running multiple apps, lighting up that bright screen, and connecting to Wi-Fi or cellular data. So for the time being, this kind of battery won't be lighting up your phone. However, the good news is that Beijing Betavolt New Energy isn't stopping at 100 microwatts. According to some reports, a 1-watt version of their nuclear battery is coming in 2025. 1 watt is still not enough to power a typical phone non-stop, but it's a big step up from 100 microwatts. It opens the door to a whole range of other applications that need a bit more juice, and that's just the beginning. In many fields of technology, the first generation of a product is just a proof of concept, a way to show that something can work in principle. After that, that, improvements often happen faster and faster. Another point to consider is cost. Radioactive materials require special handling, regulation, and certification. Producing a beta-voltaic battery isn't as simple as stamping out traditional lithium-ion cells on a factory line. There are security measures, radioactive handling protocols, and disposal procedures to consider, all of which can add to the price tag. Over time, with more widespread adoption and improved manufacturing processes, costs might come down 
just as we saw with solar panels, which were once incredibly expensive, but have since become much more affordable. We also can't ignore the public perception of anything labeled nuclear. Even though beta-voltaic batteries are inherently much safer than most people imagine, the word radioactive tends to put people on edge. This is partly why it's so important to emphasize that the device is well shielded, emits no harmful radiation to the environment, and eventually decays into a harmless form of copper. Overcoming this social and psychological hurdle might be one of the biggest challenges companies face in bringing nuclear battery tech into the mainstream. Nonetheless, the future looks bright for specialized uses where the reliability and longevity of the power source outweigh the need for large amounts of energy. Think again of remote sensors, medical devices, satellites, and small electronics. As beta-voltaic cells become more powerful and more accepted, there's really no telling how far we can take this technology. So, there you have it, a tiny battery powered by radioactive nickel-63 that could potentially provide power for 50 years straight. No recharging, no maintenance, no replacement. That's an awe-inspiring possibility when you consider how often you have to plug in most of your devices right now. While this technology is still in its early stages, it's not just a flashy concept. It has real potential to transform power supply in everything from high-stakes medical implants to far-flung space missions. Can you imagine never having to plug in a device again? That's the vision here, a world where your gadgets, implants, and sensors quietly run in the background, powered by an energy source you never have to think about replacing. Of course, many of us are used to the tradition of plugging in our phones at night or periodically charging our watches. So it might be a little strange at first to have a device that just keeps going and going, but it also sounds incredibly convenient. It's a vivid reminder of how quickly technology can change the routines we take for granted. But let's bring the spotlight back to you for a moment. Would you trust a nuclear battery in your phone or pacemaker? Are you ready to embrace this sort of radioactive but very low-risk technology if it means the end of regular charging and battery replacements? It's a fascinating question that underscores how personal technology choices can be. Some people are all for innovation, while others might hold on to concerns about safety or the stigma around anything nuclear. No matter where you stand, there's no question that this is a space to watch. Advancements in battery tech have the power to reshape industries, drive progress in space exploration, save lives in medical applications, and maybe even change how we think about the environment and sustainability. If the BV100 is any indication, the future of energy might be smaller, more efficient, longer lasting, and quite possibly nuclear in origin. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you for sticking with me through this video. If you found this discussion about nuclear batteries intriguing, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. It's one of the best ways to help us keep bringing you interesting stories and in-depth looks at emerging technologies. And don't forget to check the description for all the sources we used, including articles and scientific papers about beta-voltaic devices, as well as more details on how this Chinese company is pushing forward with their BV100 battery innovation. So that's it for today. This is a space that's still developing rapidly, and chances are we'll see more breakthroughs in the next few years. Stay tuned and keep imagining a world where your battery just never dies. It might not be that far off. Until next time, this has been your deep dive into a 50-year battery. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.